Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I noticed that 80% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if, if you could take the time and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video, I would appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, I have Annabelle with me. Um, a big shout out to my friend, Chris Fawcett, who, um, came up with the name for my skeleton I bought at Party City. Uh, he came up with the name Skelly Bones. Um, so, thank you, Chris. I love you, dude. Um, Chris, you are an amazing friend, and honestly, I consider you part of my family. Just like all of my other subscribers, I consider y'all a big part of my family, and I love every single one of you. Um, I have my hair like this. Um, I am thinking about re my hair back to black again and just doing the bangs burgundy red again. Also, I feel like Pugsley Adams from the Adams family in this shirt. I love it. Um, I do still have a headache. Um, but that's not gonna stop me from making videos for y'all. Even if, even if I'm having, like, really, really bad, tremendous, agonizing pain... I'm still going to try my best to make videos uh, and put out for y'all to watch because I don't want to disappoint any of y'all. Um, so, yeah. Um, but in this video, I'm going to show y'all my top 10 favorite horror films of all time. So, at number one, we have Scream. I think everybody knew this was coming. Scream is one of my favorite horror films. Um, I love this movie so much. I've always had the biggest crush on Skeet Ulrich's character, Billy Loomis. Like, I think everybody knew that was... I think everybody knows that if you're... If you, um... Have watched my videos for a while, you know that I had the biggest crush on Skeet Ulrich's character, Billy Loomis. I love Scream so much. Number two is Child's Play. Child's Play has always been one of my favorite movies. Um, I love this movie so much. So much. Um, always been a big fan of it. I got my first Chucky doll for my 12th birthday back in 2006. My dad got it for me and I love him. Um, I haven't taken really good care of him like I should have. I mean, what can you expect from a 12 year old? So, yeah. But, um, I do like the other Chucky films in the franchise, but nothing beats the original. A true classic never goes out of style. And I think a lot of you know what that quote is from. <laughs> Number three. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, especially the first one. I bought this at uh, McKay's a couple years ago, and I have it in this plastic right here um, because it's signed. I don't know if that is a, I don't know if that is a real signature or not, but um, when I saw it there. I I picked it up and I looked at it and 
I put it back. I was debating should I buy it. Because I had already bought, I was already going to buy a bunch of other movies. And so I put it back on the shelf and walked off. And then I got to thinking to myself. If I don't buy this, I'm going to hate myself if I don't get it. So I went back and I got it off the shelf and I bought it. As my favorite. Um, I do love part two as well as one of my other favorites. Um, number four is Sleepaway Camp. Uh, this is another great film right here. Um, there are some uh, characters in this film that I don't like. Um, and one is Mel. Um, what was the, uh, I forget the girl's name that, uh, who is going to go, who is going to go on a date with Mel. I forget her name. Um, but I did not like her because she was so stuck up. And Mel, he's just a, he's just a really disgusting, creepy, gross man. Um, I don't like Judy because she's really stuck up and she thinks she is everything. And... Just the way she bullies Angela and all, I I just don't like that. Um, and the cook in it. In the beginning, if you guys know, you guys will know who I'm talking about. If you've seen this, you know the cook I'm talking about. He is a creepy, weird, disgusting man um if y'all have seen this you know exactly what i'm talking about but yeah i love this movie so we've gotten through these so far um number five is cemetery man i love this movie um this is my dad's favorite movie and my dad got me into watching it, and I absolutely love this movie. Um, I've probably seen this movie at least 20 or 30 times, or even more. It's a great film. Number six, Halloween. Um, I would um, have Halloween as my number one favorite. But, as a lot of you know, Scream is one of my all-time favorite horror films. My room is covered in posters of Scream and Ghostface. I have a lot of stuff of Scream and Ghostface. Um, but I do love uh, Halloween, especially the first one from 1978 by John Carpenter. I love this movie. Um, I do like the other films. There are a few uh, movies in the um, Halloween franchise that I'm not really a fan of. That would be Halloween H2O, Halloween Resurrection, um, Halloween Ends. Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2. Not a fan of those. Um, if any of you who are watching this video are a fan of the other Halloween movies I just talked about, um, that's completely fine. Um, not everybody is going to like the same thing. And um, I'm perfectly okay with that. I respect everyone's opinion, so. 
Oh, so far as this. Right here. Next is Friday the 13th. The first one. If a lot of you um, remember the story time video I did um, talking about when I met Ari Lehman, who played um, little boy Jason, um, who drowned in Camp Crystal Lake. Um, I did get to meet him. He signed my hockey mask. Even though he did not wear a hockey mask, he just played little boy Jason. Um, he says he's said that he likes signing hockey masks. So he signed mine, and I got my picture made with him. And um, he will always be he will he will always be known as the as the first Jason number one. Um, next, a lot of people hate this movie. That's perfectly okay. Um, and I am talking about Friday the 13th, Jason Takes Manhattan. A lot of people don't like this movie. Um, I personally love this movie. Um, when I tell people that, um, Jason Takes Manhattan is one of my favorite Friday the 13th movies, people have said to me, how can you like that movie? It's, it's absolutely horrible. You're not, you're not a true horror fan if you like that movie. Um... What? Um, I am a true horror fan. Um, just because you and a bunch of other people don't like Jason Takes Manhattan, um, doesn't mean that I can't like it. Um, everybody has a different opinion on this. Some people like it, some don't. Um, and I respect everyone's opinion. That's one of my favorites. Next is Chopping Mall, another classic movie from the 1980s. I love this movie so much. I did buy this movie off Amazon because it was hard to find and I could not find it in stores anywhere, so I got it off Amazon. I, I love this movie. It is so good. <laughs> last movie, and that is the movie Dolls. I love this movie. This is a really good, um, movie. Um, I did, ha I did buy this from Amazon. Um, it did cost, it didn't really cost me that much on Amazon. Um, it is, um, Region 2, um, because the only ones I found on eBay for this movie, I did, I have found this movie on eBay, um, uh, people are selling it, but people are selling it for a ridiculous price, and some of them, some of these sellers are not in the U.S., so I... I couldn't get it, but I bought it off Amazon. Um, my uh, portable DVD player that I have uh, plays Region 2 movies, so I watch, I can watch it. Um, this movie is so good. Uh, the people in this movie that I don't like is the uh, little girl. Uh, the little girl's, uh, father and, uh, stepmother. I do not like those two because they are just so rude. They don't care nothing about their 
they don't care anything about the child. Um, I don't like them. And the two, these two girls who come in, um, they are absolutely disrespectful to the old couple. They're just very disrespectful. Smoking in there in this couple's house. Um, playing loud music. Um, stealing from this couple. Uh, from this elderly couple. Um, very, very disrespectful teenagers. Um, I know it's just acting, but I just find that to be very disrespectful. Um, everybody, we should, uh, treat everybody with love and respect, even, el even the elderly. Um, yeah. Great movie. <laughs> um, so that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, Annabelle, uh, is wanting Annabelle, uh, wants people to subscribe. But I think at the end of this, I'm going to have Annabelle, well, you know, do her what she usually does. And I'm going to turn the lights out so you can see.